Isaac Menendez and I'm Joy Pajong and today we're going to be discussing the NFL draft that occurred uh, this last weekend it was uh, April 28th April 28th through something like that last yeah. Thursday through obviously ended so we're just going to be discussing the first round here uh, the first 16 and the last the last couple of drafts too so obviously we're going to start from the top Bryce Young as we know a couple months back I think it was maybe in March or maybe a month back the Panthers traded with uh, Carolina sending DJ Moore to, to, to Chicago uh -huh. I'm sorry the Panthers traded, I know that's a mistake I'm sorry Chicago traded with Carolina sending DJ Moore to Carolina to, to Chicago and then Carolina got the first pick obviously mm -hmm. so people were debating oh is they gonna pick Young Stroud people maybe they want their next Cam Newton maybe they want Anthony Richardson to be Cam Newton but they went with probably the most expectable pick out of all three. And they went with Bryce Young. Bryce Young. So, as you can see, Bryce Young is only like 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 He's very small. So, that's like his only concern. Um, But he, but Bryce Young in the pocket is like amazing. Like, if you see him his in Alabama. His pocket presence is really good. Like, he, he can see like an end crashing down on him and he'll notice it. And like he'll like step up and then like roll out. Yeah, Bryce Young. Bryce Young is not play around when it comes to like he's very good at being a, a quarterback, which is what he's supposed to do. He may not be as flashy as like Anthony Richardson or like Lamar Jackson, who's like currently in the NFL. You know, yeah, With all the run plays. But Bryce Young is probably the best pure passer in this draft class. Yeah, like he, he can throw like a good ball off pressure yeah like he's it, very he's good pressured. it's just the size part but yeah he like it says here he's very polished and yeah the panthers the panthers are gonna be good next year yeah. the panthers have um adam thielen uh the the to tavius marshall DJ Moore. no dj Moore's on, on chicago now wow uh, but their defense is also pretty good they got jc horn over there brian burns um yeah, they're they're solid. I think they they take that division that's a very weak NFC South and they'll win. So I rate this pick uh an A. Because there's really nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A. I'm good with an A. Texans. So people wanted the Texans to take young. People were like, oh the Texans are dumb for winning that one game against where they threw the ball and like the guy the Hail Mary that they caught. Mm -hmm. Like the Texans just sold themselves. They failed that tanking. But um they got Stroud. What do you think about Stroud? I mean, Stroud has the height and he has the skill, but I don't know. I, there's something yeah. about Stroud, like people say he might be the best quarterback. Like it says here, he might be the best quarterback. He has very good. He's very good at obviously throwing the ball. He has a nice arm. Wait, we saw in the national championship. That was him, right? Yeah. No. Uh, the, the pre, the pre. Um, yeah, the last. The, the, the round the last before last it, one. I think. Oh, yeah, round before. Be against um, what was it? Uh, TCU, I think. Was it TCU? No, no, no. It was Michigan. Oh yeah, Michigan. Michigan. I think it was no, because Mich Michigan. Georgia. It was Georgia. Georgia. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm not good at college football. But yeah, they played. He played really good in that game. I'm not gonna lie. That was probably the better game of the two. TCU got smacked by Georgia. Mm -hmm. But um. This pick makes sense. Like it's the second best QB, arguably the first best QB in the, the class, mm -hmm. and yeah, like I have nothing wrong with it. It's just I wish they could have got Bryce Young because I think he's a better fit for that team. The Texans could take this division. I'm not gonna lie, but like first, we don't even know that that division has yeah. Or, the, or but I think it will be the Jaguars. This division has so much question around it because yeah. it's just been a terrible division like these past few years, and mm -hmm. the Jaguars are turning up. Yeah. So what do you rate this one? I'm gonna rate it. A I B, think a B, a B, just a B, no Not B, B minus. plus, no, just a B, just a B. Why B? I feel, I feel an A though, cause they're they're filling our need, you know. Actually, no, I'll give it a B plus. B plus, yeah. I, I think A, in my opinion, cause like you know, they need a QB. They haven't had one. Yeah. Now this was interesting. Um, oh, Anderson. So we see D'Amico Ryan's was their new head coach, right? He hadn't, he liked what he had in, in San Francisco with the amazing defense, and then um, the, he, I guess he's trying to replicate that, as it says here. So crazy when i saw this i was i was surprised i'm like arizona traded with houston wow and they got um will anderson who was mm -hmm. one of the best defensive players in this this class yeah. honestly he's amazing as you can see there uh D'Amico ryan wanted like his own version of nick bosa yeah. uh but with the texans because you know so, he's coaching them now yeah so um yeah this pick isn't bad i'm a little concerned with the trade-up because i think they lost the first round pick for next year but i think they have another one because they also traded like some other guy i don't even remember 
But the Texans are in a good position for the future. I guess they'll probably be good next year. Yeah. With the little rebuilding that they're going on. I'll give this pick a B plus. B plus, B plus. All right. Colts. So, Anthony Richardson has an amazing potential. Yeah. Amazing. But he's not there yet. Mm Mm-mm. To see Anthony Richardson ball out would be amazing because he has some weapons on that Colts team. <laughs> he has Jonathan Taylor, who's mm-hmm. a stud. Michael Pittman's a stud. And he's, the O line isn't terrible. It's not amazing. It's not that bad. But um, he just needs to develop, I think. If he develops, he can turn into amazing. Yeah. But what else are the Colts going to do here? Thank God they didn't pick Will Levis because Will Levis would not have been a good pick and he would have busted. Mm hmm. I, I think Will Levis is gonna be a bust. Yeah, for sure. Or he's either a bust or like gonna turn out to be like a Brock Purdy. Yeah, but this this was interesting pick. It's not a bad one. They need a QB again. Mm-hmm. So B plus because of poten- potential wise, it's an A plus pick because yeah. they I I see what they're looking for. I understand. I'll what give it a like an A minus. Yeah, I understand what's going on here. But again, you don't. You never know what could happen. Like he could be the biggest bust, worse than Zach Wilson. Mm-hmm. So, Devin Witherspoon, arguably the best corner in this draft. Maybe see Go- Christian Gonzalez. But what are we thinking, Devin Witherspoon? They're trying to rebuild their Legion of Boon. I don't got like I don't have that much information on Devin Witherspoon, but he was picked top five as a cornerback from illinois so that that says a lot so yeah he honestly he's a stud uh evan witherspoon is an amazing corner he says he has a dog mentality mm-hmm. but yeah they're rebuilding legion of boom Tariq willen Devin witherspoon uh kobe bryant um quandre diggs is there too jamal adams they're, their team's gonna be pretty good they they you know the niners that division's open niners seahawks who yeah. knows the niners are a really good team though yeah Next, we have the Cardinals. They're Here's picking a. Uh, I see. I understand what they did. I understand this pick. They need an O-lineman. They need to protect Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray just kept on running out of the pocket. Well, I, I just don't understand why Detroit would trade out just to select a running back later. But that's for the future. We'll talk about that soon. Um. Yeah, this pick is fine. I understand what's going on here. They want they want a lineman to pick Kyler Murray. A plus. Mm-hmm. Here's something good. Very good lineman. Tyree Wilson. As of recently, the Raiders have not been really good at drafting. Yeah. Henry Ruggs, um, Damon Arnett, both went to jail or like got cut from the team or well, something. Henry mean, Ruggs was good in college. He was, no, yeah, he was like, he was raw. It's already the Raiders' fault that he went. They got him. They just got him unlucky. Yeah. But um, Tyree Wilson's really good, solid pick, and he's he's good. He's gonna be good with Max Crosby, Chandler Jones. Good defense, defensive team. I don't think that team is gonna be good. They again, they don't have their car. We have Jimmy G. Yeah, I don't think the Raiders. I think they're gonna be last in their division. Last, in, yeah, that division is actually really tough. I forgot. Chargers, Chiefs, Broncos, Raiders. Actually, no, the Broncos will be last. Broncos will be last. Ah, uh, that's a really last. tough division. I think in any other division, the Raiders would be first. Yeah, but that that division is tough. A pick, nothing bad with it. I don't know. This pick gets me mad. John Robbins. So, Bijan. The most talented running back we've seen in a while. Pro comp was Saquon Barkley. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Out of Texas. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking him. I'm not mad about the. I'm not mad about them taking Bijan. I'm mad about them taking a position they don't need. Primarily need. Yeah. They. But who's the running back? They had Tyler Algier, who they and Cordero Patterson. Oh yeah, and they don't Patterson. they don't need uh, Bijan. Yeah, I'm not saying he's not gonna make an effect on the team, but again, Bijan Robinson's not something. People were saying the bad stuff about this pick. Again, it's not that he's bad. It's just I just don't understand it. So I say C plus pick. Again, it's not terrible. Yes, yeah, but they 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 had a hiccup here. I'm not gonna lie. They could have taken they could have taken Jalen Carter, but again, doesn't happen. This pick excites me a lot. Chicago trades out of pick number 9 with 10. When I saw this, I was surprised as an Eagles fan. I'm like, wow, we're going to get Jalen Carter. And originally, I kind of wanted Bijan because Bijan and the Eagles would go crazy. Mm-hmm. But later, we just got DeAndre Swift. So, like, it doesn't even matter. And this gets crazy, too, because he's out of Georgia. Joins his former team with Jordan Davis yeah. and Kobe Dean. 
and A plus pick. Jalen yeah, Carter was A+. was rated the best defensive, one of probably the best the best player in the draft. He just fell because of like some legal issues, and he kind of showed up overweight to his pro day. But he has good work ethic, and he has a good team around him, good chemistry. A plus pick, in, uh, good effect on the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Eagles are gonna be good next year. They they people are saying they lost players. No, they're gonna be fine. Yeah. Darnell White. Another O lineman. Again, Justin Fields was probably the most sacked quarterback last. Yeah, I need him. So just uh, they're, they'll be fine. Uh, understandable pick. I understand why they picked him. Good pick. Titans. Thank God they didn't pick Will Levis in this pick. At least they picked him later, but it would have been a bad. Peter Skronsky is raw. Very good offensive tackle. A plus pick. Wow. Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs. This pick is not good. Really? No. Because Jameer Gibbs was set to fall to the second round. We were saying he was going to fall. Now, I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm not saying he's a bad player. People say he's like AK-41, Alvin Kamara. But there was no reason to pick this because they had DeAndre Swift. They just signed David Montgomery. They got rid of Jamal Williams, but they just got this guy. Well, David Montgomery is so personally. I mean, yeah, but DeAndre Swift was good. He didn't yeah. play a lot, but he has a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Gibbs is really good. Don't get me wrong. Probably, I think he's the fast running back this class or is some other oh, guy. And don't they have Jamal Williams too? No, they, he went to the Saints. Oh. But again, taking him here is a huge question mark. I don't understand what they're thinking here. Again, I'm not, I'm not to judge. I'm not, I'm not the Lions. I don't know what they're, they were excited when they picked him. Yeah. I just don't understand it. This is a C to me. Not a bad player, just not an understandable pick. Lucas Van Ness. Uh, I don't have a lot of knowledge on this guy, so I don't really know. Me neither. But I, I know he is a good player. I've heard his name a couple of times mentioned. They traded up for him. Or, I'm sorry, they didn't trade up for him. They traded with Green with, with Green Bay. And the Jets traded Green Bay to get Aaron Rodgers. This was the pick that they gained out of that. I don't have a lot of knowledge on him, but yeah, they do need a linebacker. The Packers... B pick, I don't really know. Pittsburgh Steelers. Roderick Jones. Again, trying to protect Kenny Pickett, understandable. They need and Najee Harris to make a better running back. A pick. Yeah. Jets taking Will McDonald. I don't I don't like this one. When there's better people you could have taken. I think Nolan Smith could have been picked here. He would have been a better yeah, pick. Yeah, Nolan Smith would have been Nolan a way Smith better pick. Would have been a better pick here than this guy. But He's not a bad player. He's just, I don't understand, you know? Mm -hmm. And then finishing it off, we got Emmanuel Forbes. People say he's like Xavier Howard. People say he's good, blah, blah, you know? But when Christian Gonzalez is on the board, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. That was arguably like the best corner. And you're taking this guy over him. I don't understand. Jo Christian Gonzalez was amazing amazing player and then you're taking this guy and he's not bad don't get me wrong he's just why when you could have had something better mm -hmm. moving on patriots uh pick 17 they they i when i trade when i saw him trade down i was like what are they doing i thought they're gonna get a bad player i thought the steers were gonna take christian gonzalez mm -hmm. but they ended up they just got him he's an amazing player uh i'm happy to see him Patriots get a playmaker with uh, Jack Jonathan Jones. Jack Jones, Jonathan Jones. They're both on the same team. I don't know which the other corner though. But uh, yeah, A plus pick. Honestly, they got a steal here. Yeah. Lions fixing up the defense. You know their main problem was defense last year, and they got what they need. Again, could have could have taken nice linebacker. Could have taken Nolan Smith to fit on the other side with Aiden Hutchinson. But then again, I'm not the Lions front office. I don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And maybe they see something in this guy. He's good, a uh, good player. But yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Elijah Kensey. I have no idea who this guy is. Yeah, me neither. Uh, there was some picks when I was watching the draft. I just didn't understand what's going on here. Oh, I think this is the guy um, that went to Northwestern, like the high school. I don't know. He's probably a good player if you guys pick him the first round. But I, I don't have knowledge. This guy. And Yig was raw. Yeah, he's raw. Yig was raw. He shouldn't have been the 20th pick. He should have gone picked earlier. Oh, a lot. The better, Seahawks. Yeah. Again, I don't, I don't hate the pick, but you have DK Metcalf and, and uh, Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett. 
So it's not a bad pick. They're gonna be raw. Mm -hmm. And then they got Zach Charbonnet later, and they got the guy on off uh, defense. Um, what's his name? Devin Witherspoon. Six had a very good draft. Six yeah. had a great draft. And this is just gonna make that team a lot better. Again, compete the division. They will be pretty good, you know. Mm -hmm. Quentin Johnson, wasn't he? I don't know who that is. Looking at the draft thus far for the Seattle Seahawks. Quentin Johnson, the receiver at a TCU. People, he's a great jump ball receiver. He's fast, very good player. I'm happy to see him be on the team. Chargers got a good guy. So, uh, what are we thinking here? I think that's a. Uh, I'm gonna do B plus. B plus, a good pick. Good and pick. yeah, Justin Herbert needed him too. Justin Herbert does need him. Keenan Allen's getting a little old. Yeah. This pick excites Zay me. Flowers. This guy is insane. He came out of Florida. He's gonna be paired with Odo Beckham. Odo Beckham can teach him all he knows. You know, mm -hmm. you have a nice veteran to comfort you in, in the league. And Zay Flowers is an amazing player. Uh, yeah, it says A plus route runner. He'll definitely take their, their game to the next level. And yeah, the Lamar finally has weapons. Mm -hmm. um, paired with Mark Andrews, uh, Zay Flowers, Odo Beckham Jr. If he hopefully plays a whole healthy season. And then Rashad Beeman, who has had so much potential, he's just been hurt. Good pick. Yeah. Vikings taking Jordan Addison. They lost Adam Thielen. I understand this pick. Very good pick. He'll play with Justin Jefferson, the best <laughs> best receiver in the league. And yeah, a great pick. Um, I hope to see them do good. Mm -hmm. The Giants. Deontay Banks. Very good player. Very good corner. I guess they want the replacement for Bradbury. Yeah, I think the Giants needed. Uh, the Giants do TV. definitely need a corner. I am glad it wasn't anyone else, because I don't think it's gonna make a huge effect against the Eagles. Because again, it's just a corner. It whatever. What am I saying? Just a corner. Good player. I'm sorry. Sorry for disrespect. Jackson will trade it out of this pick for New York Giants, and then yeah. And this was. Uh I, this I think this was bad. This pick. was a horrible pick. Horrible pick. You see, this guy is probably the best tight end in the draft, or Darnell Washington. But they didn't need him. Or Michael Mayer. Any of these guys, they don't need a tight end. They had, they could have gotten a running back. They could have got. Actually, no. There was no running backs that are first round worthy. I think. But um, I don't understand what they're doing. They have Dawson Knox already. I gotta run with two tight ends now. I don't know. Yeah. Could have taken a receiver. Um, Could have taken Nolan Smith, Mozzie Smith. All these other guys that went after him uh, could have gone instead of him. But I'm glad because I'm also an Eagles fan. I mean, a Dolphins fan. Dolph uh, Bills didn't make a huge improvement to that team. They're just going to be the same Bills, basically. And Dolphins, again, no first round pick, sadly. Cowboys taking Mozzie Smith. I think the Cowboys are idiots. Mm -hmm. uh, they could have had Nolan Smith. They took the wrong Smith here. I don't know if they just picked the wrong Smith or something. Uh, they made a mistake. Mozzie's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Nolan Smith would have been a better pick. Anton Harris. Very good player. They need to protect Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence. Understandable pick. I see what they're doing. W pick. Miles, Miles Murphy has been... I've heard a lot about him. Yeah, me too. He's a good player. He kind of fell. I thought he was going on higher. Bengals got themselves a good player, and yeah, they have a chance of making the AFC AFC Championship again. Maybe defeat Chiefs mm -hmm. this time. Yeah. Good pick, good pick. Brian Breesy, uh, Cameron, what's his name? Tra Lawrence. Uh, Trevor. Uh, the guy on the seat. The seat. Uh, Cameron Jordan. The Saints. Cameron Jordan. Yeah. Cameron Jordan. They need another guy to pair along with him, and they just want to make that team better. Saints have potential. I see what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. Their car. I don't think the team will be a lot better. It's, it's a very weak division, but yeah. No. I think this was the best, one of the best picks in this This was round. a steal. This was a definitely this was a steal. the biggest steal. When I saw him fall, I was like, wow, we're about to get both Georgia players. And I was happy with, they could have taken Nolan Smith or Brian Branch. Because both of those players are really good. But mm -hmm. again, we paired for the culture, both Georgia. We, wanna, we have a Georgia, Philadelphia, Eagle Dogs, is what I've heard. Kind of corny, but yeah. Smith has a lot of potential. He's really good, very fast. I think he ran a 4 4 4 at the combine. Wow. Very fast edge. Yeah, people have compared him to Hassan Reddick. And yeah, he's good, very good pick. A plus pick, A plus steal. Mm -hmm. 
Felix, this guy felt pretty good. Play with, he'll play with he'll play with George Karlaftis. Good pick. Uh, Chiefs got Chris themselves Jones a good too. one. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed us talking about the draft, and then we'll see you guys next time.